Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is NG News with the latest updates from the Angular community every week. Last week, the official Angular YouTube channel published a video on the upcoming incremental hydration feature, which will be a boost for any Angular application and especially those facing the internet and need good CEO. Mark Thompson from the Angular team was also hosting the Angular Q&A session. As always, Jeremy Elborn, also Angular member, was part of the stream and he was joined by Jessica Chiniuk. Jessica pointed out that incremental hydration is not the same as React server components. We started viewing this store and then navigated back to the homepage. Hydrate doesn't apply anymore and it is going to fetch that JavaScript. General questions were also answered. For example, about a potential upcoming state management library. We don't know that it would be the best use of our time. We don't really work on applications that much. We're a little bit disconnected from the way different applications are going to want to do state management. Different products and different applications have different needs. The community has really built out a lot of options here. In terms of testing, while we still don't have official chest support, as it was already announced in Angular 16. We're planning on working on this in 2025 and hopefully figuring out like what the stable state is. The reason it hasn't really been that high of a priority, Karma actually just still works just fine. And another big headline where the upcoming functions, linked signal and resource, they are these new breed of utility functions for signals which specialize for common use cases. Linked signal generates a writable signal which can additionally be linked, made dependent, to another signal. If the data signal changes, then it can trigger a change to the actual signals as well. Kind of a mixture between a computer and a writable signal. The second utility function is the pair resource rx resource, and it creates a signal which depends on an asynchronous task. It is unsure if this is already the signalized successor of the HTTP client, or if it is just the first step into the right direction. For more information, Inia Yahulari and Mathieu Riegler has you covered in his latest article. And if that's not enough, then you can watch the recordings of the Angular Autumn Camp, that's a meetup series, the NG Poland's recordings of last year, or you can read Armin Fadansian article on common friction points in Angular. And that's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.